Are you done? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on guys, it's Bear, and today I'm going to give you guys a new tutorial on how to create a character themed uh, banner. So basically with this character themed banner, uh, you guys can choose any rapper, any person, comic person, uh, pretty much you guys can choose anything, you guys can make a banner out of it. Um, but before I actually go on with this tutorial, I want to explain more on Tutorial Hub for you guys. So I'm going to be doing this in probably most of my videos. The reason why I haven't been uploading at all is because I've actually been working on this channel. So basically this channel is a kind of company community channel I guess I would call it and uh, pretty much it's just a huge channel where we're going to be uploading tutorials and uh, you guys can submit your own and there'll be a huge thing so go check that out there'll probably be a little annotation on the screen in the top right hand corner and it's also in my bio so uh, go subscribe to it I have 314 so far and it should be uh, starting very soon I have the intro in the making right now but yeah go check that out so right now with this tutorial you guys are going to need to use any header banner i'm using header templates because it's nicer to work on but you guys can use anything you want so let's just say i was gonna work with gz because everything's black and white i think i'm gonna go with something like more color so let's just say uh you guys want to use kendrick lamar for your banner so you guys can just put in kendrick lamar and then you can put png at the end of it which pretty much this gives you if you go to pngs it should have like the checkered background and this is actually like symbolizing that there's no background so you guys can go through these change anyone or choose anyone you guys want to I prefer using the black or not the black I prefer using color ones because it's easier to work with so uh, let's just say you're gonna use you're gonna use this one. Oh, it's kind of small All right, that's bigger and that's actually nicer so you gotta do is just like pretty much copy and paste it so or not copy and paste it but save it and you guys can't copy and paste uh, PNGs you have to save them first and then reopen them so you have your wrapper Let's just say this. So now that you have it, you're just gonna take it and then scale it down on your Twitter header, and uh, just make it with the same size. And you guys can put it any way. Uh, I'm gonna turn them around and flip them actually. So you guys can go to Edit, Transform, flip the person. You guys can do anything. I'm gonna flip them and put them like right here. All right, and then just make sure that his head touches that. So basically what you do now is create little squares and you guys are going to put these squares right here. So the cool thing to do is just make a new layer and take your rectangle tool and just make a rectangle and then go to Google and let's go to Kendall Kamar and then just find pictures. You can just like take this, take your print screen and then copy it. When you paste it in, paste it on, onto your rectangle. And just kind of like size it. So then you have that. Alright, and then you guys can merge the rectangle. And bring it down. And then basically what you go from there, you guys, you guys can go like on stage. Once you have like more on stage pictures, it's actually a lot needed to work with. So... Uh, yeah you guys can pretty much just keep doing this and I don't want to board you guys with me just keeping keep on clicking and all this other stuff so what I'm gonna do is actually make a bunch of squares and you guys are know when you guys have enough because if you want oh, oh, yeah click the bottom rectangle and then hold shift and click the top picture and bring it to the side it should equal all the way to here and all the way down and all the way across so I'm gonna pause the video right now and finish that up Alright guys, I'm back, and I actually only did one row, um, this honestly took me forever to do, like, not a long time, but it's a pain. So what I'm gonna do after this, I'm not gonna do all of them, I'm just gonna take these and merge them and stuff. So once you have them all done, you should have a bunch of just rectangles and layers, and you should have like, a whole entire section filled. So after you do that, you're just gonna take them, excuse me, and merge them all, and then go to adjustments and then black and white. And then make them black and white. And I know you guys are probably a little like angry that you guys just wasted all that time. And then you made a black and white and stuff. But you'll see what happens. So after that, if you guys just did one row like I did. And you want to just keep using the same pictures. Just take, keep hitting control J on them. And then put them the same size. And then put it so it like stops next to his body. And then remerge him. Alright, and now that you have that, you guys can mess with the settings, and so like, you can put them on soft light and stuff. What I'm going to do, actually, is take it and put it on, like, around 20%, and 
and then I'll make a new layer behind Kendrick Lamar himself. So now that you have that, you're gonna take a brush on, let's just say a size like 400, 300, and then just like kind of click around his body and it kind of like whitens it out. So now you're gonna do is click above him and then take your brush again and then kind of like shade his body and then take the eraser and kind of go back past it and then lower it. So it kind of brings like a glowing sense to him. All right, now for this part, this is where you guys can get creative. Um, if you go, let's just find a nice large picture of him. You guys can actually find more pictures of him to do, and these ones can be in color, these ones cannot be in color. It's pretty much all up to you. So let's just say you want to use um, like this one. Just take it and paste it into Photoshop and then bring it to the side, all right? And then you can take it and put it behind your original picture and just kind of crop it out like that. All right, and uh, you guys can take it again and then lower the kind of um, opacity on it and stuff. Uh, you guys can also make it black and white and just kind of mess around. So uh, there's pretty much a lot of things you guys can do with this. Um, what I'm going to do is go into the carbon pack. Uh, this will be in the description. So you guys can go download this, but this will be the carbon pack. And I'm going to go to custom stocks and grab the first one. And then kind of flip it because that green looks better on this side. So now you have like this nice stock and then him. So uh, you guys can actually mess with stocks. Um, there's other stuff here, more blurred stuff. But um, another thing I'm gonna do is grab this one and bring it into this image and put it above him. And then what I'm gonna do is go to adjustments and put it to black and white and then take it and put it on screen. And then take your eraser after rasterizing it and kind of click around. And this kind of de it deletes like some layers, but it still looks nice. So you guys can add more stuff in like this section. Um, I don't really like filling it up too much because you're gonna be filling it up with links. So what I'm gonna do now is just grab my signature, wherever it is. I decided to clean my whole desktop, and it's a pain. That's not it. Hmm, where to go? There it is. All right, and then you can take your signature and bring it in. So basically, you guys can do any color you want with this. I'm actually gonna put it behind the render and then the light, and then I'm gonna take it and make it smaller. All right, and then you guys can find the center, just right there, and then bring it up. Alright, so now that you have that, this is pretty much just like your logo. You guys can add social links. And uh, there's many ways you guys can do this. You can do the creative ways. Let's just say you want to take a a brush or a thing and uh, make it, let's just say a teal or a blue. You guys can just take it and from the R and bring it down. Actually, you guys can just put it like under him. Make it skinnier and then bring it across. But you guys can put it like down here. All right, so you guys have that. And then you guys can go get your social link. So what I have in the description is a social media pack PSD. I actually made this myself. And I guess can go to download this. So there's pretty much everything here, but I'm gonna add just the essentials. So it's like the YouTube button. I forgot where it is. So you guys can just put like the YouTube button somewhere go back into it, grab your Instagram, and then go back down and find your Behance. And there's other stuff, but uh, basically these are the three social medias that I emphasize you guys to go check out. Actually, Behance is too white. Let's grab something else. Uh, Stellify. Oops. So yeah, just kind of drag it in. So. With these, you guys can pretty much add anywhere. Um, you guys can do other stuff. Let's just say you want to take the rectangle and like bring it across like this. 
but delete the middle part. So you edit the rasterize it and then delete it. So you can do that and then obviously your logo fits in it and then you guys can take your social links and put them under your logo or around it, wherever you guys want to put it. Um, I personally like putting it under it and then taking them all and then shrinking them. So it's kind of a smaller size. And then taking it's just like your YouTube and shrinking that a little bit. And make sure it's the same width apart. Alright. And then you can take those and center it. Alright, so now that you have that, you guys can add other stuff. Um, I'm going to keep the kind of teal rectangle part of this. So you guys can just take it and duplicate it. And then just say you guys want to bring it to the side or something. You can like put it here and then put it on linear burn. Yep. Alright, another cool effect is you guys can take your render, duplicate it, and go to the bottom layer of it and go to blending options and go to stroke. And actually add that color stroke onto it. Onto it. Make sure it's on the outside though. Alright, so you have that, and then take out the fill, make a new layer, and then merge those new layers, and then delete everything on the right side, so it's just this, and then go to File, Distort, Displace, or Filter, excuse me, Distort, Displace, and then use one of your displacement maps. If you guys don't have a displacement map, go check out my tutorial, that'll actually be in the description about it, and uh, just kind of add that. So it kind of creates another cool effect, and then you can put this on Linear Burn, and then just lower the opacity. Alright, so now you guys going to add more stuff here. Um, if you guys go back to the carbon pack, he actually has stocks and stuff and products. So, you guys can add stuff. Um, not like I'm sponsored by Gamma or anything. But um, there's other COD apparel and stuff. Um, team logos, color corrections. I'll go more into that after this. But um, there's just more stuff you guys can add. Uh, this is I pretty much like keeping it this way. You guys can just, let's just say, add your own stuff. Um... The Rolls Royce Phantom. Let's just say you grab one of these. These cars are so sexy. Um, just take it and then paste it in. That's a little too big. But you guys can literally add anything. You guys are just gonna get creative, start adding your own stuff, and uh. Just see, like, some people like this car, so they take it and like lower the opacity in the background. But I'm not gonna do that. So there's pretty much you guys can do this. Um, another th cool thing you guys can do is uh, make a new layer above everything, and then t taking your square. And one second, my mom's calling me. All right, I'm back. And uh, while I was like going my thought, so you guys can do more. You guys can take like squares of the same teal color, and uh, kind of place them around places. You can put one in, like the top right hand corner. Let's just say one right here. Um, hmm. This one, like, right there. And then one right there. And then you guys can just mess around with that. And uh, it's pretty infinite what you guys can do with this. And uh, if you guys just have, let's just say, we open up my 600 pack. It's going to take a little bit to load. I had this pack when I had 600 subscribers. What a journey. Journey from 600 to 3,600? That's 3,000. Holy shit. That's 3,000 subscribers ago. Wow. Oh, this is going to take forever to load. I'm definitely going to make a new thing. Yo, if anybody has iOS 9 and, like, their phone, like, sometimes, like, backs off from, like, connection and, like, just, like, random stuff like that, let me know because my phone is doing it and it's kind of pissing me off. And it keeps sending, like, a bunch of, like, random things.
like, I don't know how to explain it. I, like, would chill in my, like, because I'm in school, and I usually have 3G in school, like, and then it just go to, like, zero. I had no service, and I sit there, like, what the fuck is this? And then even in my house, like, right now I have three bars and all my Wi-Fi, but then, like, another hour later, I'll have nothing. It's just a pain in the ass. All right, so guys, what you guys can do is just take this, and uh, you guys can just, like, take, like, half tones and stuff, um, lighting and flares. You guys can take glares, too, but uh, what I'm really going to be focusing on is particles. So you guys can go to your particles tab and grab the third one down and just kind of drag it in. And these are black black particles, and I'm actually going to keep them the same color that they are. And then you guys can just literally place these around everywhere. Oops, I must have duplicated it and unduplicated it. Come on. Alright, I'm deleting the pack. Alright, but that was what I was focusing on. It's grabbing particles. Just to show you guys that there's more you guys can do to this. And, uh... It's actually really nice. Do you want? I don't care. All right, and then you guys can take it and like so you can put one here and then put it behind your render like this. All right, and now that you have that, um, pretty much I'm gonna not merge these layers because I'm gonna get out this PSD at 50 likes, but. Um, you can just label it one. You guys have to save it as a PNG. If you guys don't want to, like, re edit any more of this, you guys can just merge all this. But, I'm gonna save this as a PNG. And then reopen it. And then duplicate it. And then you guys can go to, uh, new brushes. And then make, like, a white one. And then, like, kind of click places, I guess. And then just lower the opacity. And then merge them. And, uh, this is pretty much what you guys have to do for the rest of it. And then... You guys can take like a brush on a smaller size and like outline this part and kind of bring it out and then lower the opacity. You can even put it on the screen, but you guys get the idea. So this is pretty much it. Um, at 50 likes, I'll release this PSD uh, for everyone that wants to download it. If not, then it's oh well. And uh, I'm gonna keep making stuff while I talk. But um, make sure to check out Tutorial Hub and uh, subscribe to it because it's going to be a really dope channel when it actually gets released. If you guys want to be a part of it, uh, let me know on Skype. My Skype and everything is on the or is in the description. And I think it's just like a really cool channel that I'm putting together and uh, just a really nice way to help out the community. So go subscribe to that. There will be a notation on the screen and that's pretty much it. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on it. It's only 17 minutes, but I kind of dragged it out for you guys to explain more things and how to get more results that would be making you more happy. And uh, you guys can literally do this with anything. A Captain America picture, a Batman picture, Kendrick Lamar. You guys can even use like Robert De Niro from like any movie. You guys can literally use anything. Like I can go on this and type in like... I could type in like a Batman render, and I, I could literally use this and do the same exact thing I did here. So it's pretty much all your preference. Um, Make sure your colors match something in the picture. Let's just say if I use this, I can use the yellow. If I use this, I actually use the bracelet, which is the teal color. And uh, let's go do like a polo model render. Hope it's a girl. What the fuck? Uh huh, Volkswagen Golf. Not golf, but Volkswagen. Everyone drives those cars in my school. They're really annoying. Um, there you go. There you go. So you guys can like, take this, anything, literally. Like, say you use this one, make it black. Well, it's not going to be. you got to cut out the background then, but like, you can use black. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, subscribe to Tutorial Hub as well. And uh, 50 likes and I'll release this. Everything should be in the description. If I miss something or forget something, please let me know in the comments or just hit me up on Twitter. Um, my stuff's right here like on the bottom of the screen. So go check it out. So that's about it. I don't want to keep dragging this out any longer than I should have. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Just make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.